Uh, it's, it's a real honor to, to step in, you know, for something the fans hold so dear. And, you know, the bar was set high on many levels for the first film in terms of how unique the vision was and how conceptually ahead of its time it was. So um, we're trying to push the, push the envelope the same way and really tell a story that couldn't be told. What is the legacy of Tron? Uh, I think the legacy of Tron, there's, there's a couple of different ones. I mean, I think conceptually, you know, this notion of, of, uh, of a world where we have versions of our, uh, digital versions of ourselves that exist in an online space in 1982, uh, people didn't quite grasp that concept. Um, it was literally a decade ahead of its time. Um, so now the world is kind of caught up to Tron, and I think that's why it's the right time to kind of dive back in. With the, you know, many fans very possessive of the original film, how difficult was it, was it for you to that uh, development, I guess, gap between this film and the previous film, so that there's, a, you know, that those who love the original film say, you know what, this is Tron, this is, this is what I grew up Well, we've, you know, we've taken the story of the original film as fact and just built a bridge uh, that connects from 1982 to 2010, and you see bits of that in our film, um, you hear a little bit about it in the ARG. I think the video game also has but, but we've really built off that original story to get us to today. Now, you don't have to have seen the first movie to enjoy our movie. We'll give you enough information in the in Tron Legacy so you can walk in fresh, having never seen Tron, and, and still, still enjoy our film. Can you ask questions about how the listing subject breaks the In the first film, they shot the suits in black and white and hand traced every suit uh, cell by cell. Our film, I was really uh, adamant about creating suits that actually illuminate light so that when actors stand next to each other, they illuminate each other's faces. They illuminate the set, they reflect in the materials. So that was a huge technical hurdle, but I think in the end it pays off. Can you just uh, speak quickly about the collaboration between Daft Punk and the Tunnel Music, maybe inform your process? Or that yeah, you know, I, I've been working with Daft for almost three years on the music for this film. Um, it's a new direction for them, it's a combination of orchestral, electronic, and granular sound. It bridges, you know, blurs the line between sound design and music. Um, because we started so early, I was able to play tracks from the film on set to get actors in the movie. And I think that, you know, the picture and the music in this film are, are so inter integral to each other. It's, it's, uh, it's really exciting for us. Thank you.